mentioned today, something that we haven't talked about for a minute is Reiki. And Reiki is something that, you know, we are natural channels for energy. We're naturally, most of us in this training and in this goddess tribe are naturally empathic. And so meaning that we naturally feel things and sense things and can kind of have this inner knowing about when, for instance, when someone walks in the room, you know, and you just have this, this sense of what their energy is like, right? And uh, so how many of you have had that experience? I know it's pretty common for those of you that are empathic that you walk into the room and you can read the room, right? So, you know, that's what we're talking about with Reiki is how your energy field expands out and how it affects yourself when you're involved with any other people, any other energies out in nature, out in, uh, you know, something beautiful like the mountains or the ocean and how you can ju just uh, feel it. You know, you can sense it. It's very, very obvious if something is giving you a positive impact or something is giving you a neutral impact or something is giving you a negative impact. And so what we're gonna talk about today is I would like to discuss with you all, some of you have that are on the um, actual live call with me have taken Reiki training and some of you are going to be taking your Reiki training this fall. And so welcome, thanks for joining. I'm glad you're here. I'm Lisa, I'm the executive director of Yoga for Love online training programs and inner goddess retreats. And we're going to be talking a little bit about the chakras and do a clearing. So we're going to clear the chakras today. We're going to do a very simple meditation that you can do anytime, anywhere, and something that will help to ground you and also cut cords. And uh, also, before I get into that, I would like to invite each of you and those of you that are in the training program and those of you that are joining us live to join us to learn how to utilize Reiki. And this is a training that's done virtually and in person. It's a ceremony and an attunement. And it's on September 30th. And I have my Reiki manual up in my store available for each of you who sign up. As soon as you sign up, you can get the manual, start looking at the lineage and learning about the hand placements and learning about the details of Reiki. It's my uh, manual that I've received from my masters. And then I've interpreted a lot of this through the goddess and through for the 21st century and also through the lens of yoga. And so you'll get the access to that immediately as soon as you sign up. You can sign up on store.yogaforlove.com and you'll get that download right away. And then you'll be able to choose which date you want to come. You can either come in person to get your attunement and you'll get your actual certification or you can come online. And Spirit has guided me through Corona and through this pandemic on how to do this training where it's so, so powerful. You're completely involved in the training and you're completely involved in the energy and the ceremony when you're online with us. And so that's again, September 30th. You can buy it right now and then start on your manual and then you'll be ready next month to have that information. We'll go over it all in a workshop and do the attunement. So I know some of you have taken your level one and if you've already taken your level one, you can also take your level two that day. And so I'll be doing level one and level two attunements. When I do Reiki master, I'm working one-on-one -on -one with you. So if you're ready for your Reiki master attunement and that feels like something that you are moving forward with in your path, then just contact me privately and we can set up a time to do your private session for that, as well as you're able to intern and uh, do some assisting to get your, your uh, feet wet and how to actually conduct these trainings. So at the level two level, you're actually able to be a practitioner and do this for a service and actually get out there and you know, you could charge for it, you could do it for donations, you could work for hospitals, you could work for rehab centers, you could work for yoga centers and actually do Reiki services. So just a little bit about that. So with no further ado, for those of you that are on the chat um, live with me, if you are Reiki level one or Reiki level two, um, just put that in the chat and let me know where you're at or if you're interested in getting your Reiki. So I'd love to hear from you where you're at and how many of you on here are familiar with the chakras? Who's familiar with chakras? So is this something that's new? Um, you'll give me some feedback here on the live call. So Jennifer is a Reiki too. Good, awesome. Yes, so um, we've got level one, Alora from Canada. 
and actively Amber, she's a level two. She just got her level two in Hawaii. Becca is level one. So very good. So, and then those of you that are on the call that have not conducted have been, been a Reiki ceremony yet, if you're interested in this or you're interested in learning more about chakras or even just doing a private session. I do a lot of private sessions on video chat. I also do angel card readings with it. So that might be a great way to step forward and move into this path and just feel the energy experience at first. You know, it's really important. Sometimes, um, well, not sometimes, all the time, we know this innately. And Becca says she can't wait to get level two and hope to be a master. Yeah, and master is such a weird word. You know, I mean, it has connotations of I've mastered this, you know, and we're always a student, y'all. So I just want you to know that this, that mastery word is, is just simply a word. Um, it doesn't mean that you've mastered anything. It, what it does mean is that you have embodied the Reiki energy and you live your daily life with Reiki. And so what that means is that you, like, it's just how you live. It's how you operate everything you infuse with the sacred chants and the sacred mantras and the healing power of pure love. And it comes straight from Christ, straight from Sophia, the female form of Christ. And it comes straight through us as a divine channel. It's very, very beautiful. So I want to share with you how to clear. We are right here on the full moon. I'm going to be doing another live call tomorrow on the full moon at 333. Would totally love to see you on that call. And I'll be putting up that event on Facebook and sharing about it on Instagram and sending out a newsletter for those of you that are on my list. If you're not, you can get on my list and just um, by just going to innergoddessretreats.org and that'll sign you up for the newsletter. So with that, any further ado, let's go ahead and just get started with a short practice. And then um, I would like to hear from each of you on the call and just ask you a little bit about how you feel and how you've been impacted with the energy of the shifting times. It's been extremely impactful right now. And it's been extremely turbulent for a lot of people. So I wanna give you some support and ability to just know some things that you can actually do and feel and move through as you're clearing and as you're you know, moving through this full moon energy. And it's just never stopping. It's like, yes, the full moon hits and the energy is higher, but it never goes back down to this really deep low anymore. It's constantly, and you're kind of riding up at the top of the waves. So what I'm teaching you today is how not to get down low and have to make your way all the way back up. So Tracy said she knows about chakras and benefited from the Reiki sessions in time she wants to learn it for herself. So awesome. Amber said, my son assisted me performing Reiki on my mom when she hurt her leg in our, in our trip in Mexico. Oh yeah, that's right. I would love to hear that story. That is so sweet. Kids, that's what I was getting at is kids naturally know Reiki. We naturally know it. And even we may have forgotten that we know it. It's what we're born to do. We're naturally energetic beings. You might've heard me say this many times is that we are naturally an energetic being. We are energy. The only thing that's really clear and the same in our embodiment is the electrons. Electrons are simply pure energy. Electrons are also conscious. So electrons are not just a simply an, an innate piece of minute matter that comes together to form our physical body. Electrons themselves have consciousness and we have a consciousness as we embody it. So since we are electric beings with a consciousness, with conscious matter embodying our mass which makes us feel like you know like we're here you know when we're really like a hologram really we're just projecting our image into this world and we're embodying it like a like a clay jar you know in the in the bible it says we're jars of clay and that's really what we are we are containers for the spirit for our spirit for our oversoul spirit for our channels for god and goddess and that is what we're here to do so if that's something that you've wondered on like how do I do that? You know, it doesn't mean you have to go and move to Africa and start, you know, preaching to the tribes. You know, every time that we work in this work, it's whomever we're in contact with that day, including ourselves. You know, so this work is a daily thing that we do and it's whomever we run into. And it can be like yesterday I posted on my Facebook, like this wonderful woman runs a ministry literally out of the racetrack gas station 
And she was told by spirit to be a nomad and to live out of her car and to witness to all the customers that come through racetrack and come through that parking lot. And she's been there for years. I was talking to her and she says, well, when I became a nomad da, 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 and talking about, like we we're just talking over getting coffee. And I went to racetrack because the Starbucks line was ridiculous. And I'm like, dude, I'm not going to wait for 30 cars, you know, because actually the racetrack coffee was really, is really good and it's fresh ground. And I'm like, you know, I'm just going to pop in here. And I got a wonderful, beautiful ministry from this woman. And I said, well, where do you live since you're a nomad? And she's like, over there. I'm like, what do you mean over there? She's like, over there, like under those trees. I'm like, for real? She's like, yeah, I like live under those trees. She had a full on business card and everything y'all. And she is Miss Linda, the nomad, nomad minister. Like it's a thing. So when you're called, you know, to give up everything that might be your case, but you might not, you might just be a customer in racetrack witnessing to somebody else and being that mirror reflection. So that's really what this is, is about reflecting our own energy, reflecting who we are and who spirit is shining through us as we move forward in the world. And Reiki helps us to be that clear channel. And how it's helped me in my life is that it helps me like when I'm in meditation and you might have heard me say this before, but it's like turning on a light switch. Like, you know, when you're sitting and meditating you're like, oh, I gotta get some groceries. And then you're like, oh crap, I gotta, oh, gotta get some school supplies, you know. Oh, I need to walk the dog. Did I feed the dog? You know, like all these things coming in, right? <laughs> and does that happen to you when you're meditating? So what happens with Reiki is that we end up um, being able to clear. It's like turning on the switch, the light is on, bam, you're connected. Mother, mother God, mother, father God, you know, bam, right in that, that channel. And it's awesome. So, hey, thanks for joining. Thanks for popping in. So we're conversing about Reiki and the chakras. And if you've had any experience, I'd love to know. If you're interested in experiencing what Reiki feels like, just let me know. And I'd love to pull a card for you or do a small reading for you or you do even do a private session. So let's talk about how to do a clearing. So first of all, things don't have to be perfect for you to be in meditation. I think there's a misconception that when you're going into meditation that, oh my gosh, the house has to be completely quiet and like nobody has to be home and I have to have my phone off and all that stuff. You can literally meditate what they say, like at, at the drop of a hat, right? You could just go into that space, no matter what is happening around you, because that is all part of your experience. So everything that's happening during your meditation is part of your meditation. So just taking a moment here and just tuning everything in instead of trying to fight with it and tune it out and let that be part of your experience and let it just come and just let it go so that's what we're going to do today is we're going to do a meditation we're going to allow the thoughts to come in and the thoughts to go out and then we're going to do a clearing for our chakras so what i'd like to do i'm going to scooch back a little bit here so you can see a little bit more of my torso because we're going to be doing using our hands through this as well. So let me move my camera just a little bit. I'm gonna scooch back here. Okay. So <clears throat> there we go. So just take a seated position and close your eyes. Get your feet flat on the ground so you're grounded into the earth. And just begin breathing in and out through the nose. Pull your belly button slightly in and then drop down through your tailbone and just breathe. Now envision a beautiful white and purple and luminescent light coming in from the universe opening a space in the top of the crown of your head. And the reason I say opening a space is because we are free will. We don't have to accept this energy. This energy is straight from your divine source. It's pure, it's safe, it's angelic, it's sweet, it's very yin. But we have to say yes, because we're free will. 
And so allowing yourself to open to this beautiful frequency of love straight from your divine source, coming in through the crown of the head. And it swirls in, in the figure eight, like a DNA strand. And you're gonna see it in your mind's eye is swirling, 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 purple and, and diamond color light. And it's swirling in from the crown, then it comes into the third eye. And it swirls around, just clearing. And coming down to the throat, just clearing. Coming down to the high heart. And it's like a little eraser. So anything that's negatively charged is also just going down and out through your feet, through your legs, through your tailbone as you clear. And we're getting down into the heart and just let this energy swirl out and move your arms out and take a big breath in. Arms open wide and then give yourself a big hug, exhale out. And hugging yourself with this beautiful divine motherly love from the universe. Inhale, sending your love out to the world. Exhale, bringing it in and giving ourselves a big hug, tucking it in, feeling that love from your father, father God in the masculine form. Inhale, sending your love out. And it doesn't, you don't have to have a specific place to send it and then exhale, hug it in, getting a hug from your divine mother. And then just alternating, opening and sending it out a couple more times. And exhaling and hugging it back in. Hey, thank you for joining. Just join in this meditation. We're just feeling love channeling in through the crown, through the third eye, through the throat, through the heart, sending it out on the inhale, bringing it in. On the exhale, feel it coming into your heart. Now we're going to take our hands to our heart center this time in Anjali Mudra. We're going to place our hands together, palms touching, fingertips toward the sky in a prayerful mudra. This is Anjali. Mudra is like yoga for your hands. And let the elbows be active out of the side. So a lot of times we just do this. But what we're doing is we're opening up the heart space. So you're creating a lift in the intercostal muscles by bringing the elbows actively out. And you're also lifting through the center of the solar plexus. Now we're going to begin to just drain out anything that's negatively charged. So take and just wash through your energy field, just like a big eraser. And releasing whatever that is. You don't even have to name it. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm going to sweep it off from the right shoulder down the right hand and then shake it off and give it back to the earth. Sweep it off, left shoulder, left hand, and then shake it off, throw it out. I love having the shells on my wrist because it's like a natural rattle. And you can take a rattle. Um, in, in our energy work, I use a lot of different tools. These are some tools I have here. Chikapa, and this is made for clearing, clearing energy in my shamanic work. And also feather fans. I have feather fans made of all kinds of things that I've found in nature. And so feather fans work really good. Of course, sage works really good. We're gonna to continue to clear this one has squirrel and um, pelican. So I have all kinds of things. This one is rabbit and uh, blue jay and snake. And so these are just different tools that you can use for clearing, cleansing. This one is actually a talking stick. So it's perfect for communication. Um, so as you continue to clear, we're going to now just pause and go all the way down from the navel down to the earth through the solar plexus, just scraping off that energy. If you have a tool nearby, you can use a tool. So I'm going to help you with the sound as we clear. You continue to just release down into the earth through your root chakra, through your sacral chakra, through your legs. Releasing, you know, still keep releasing off of your arms, scooping all that off your arms and just clearing for you as well with the sound. One thing about the chakapa is the sound is a, such a powerful clearing tool. 
breathe it in and just, it's not a big deal. Whatever is there, even if it's been there for 30 years, y'all, it's just energy and it goes in an instant. The only reason we hold on to it is because we choose to. So just let that go. We're going to take and go through the back side, take our right hand, come across the right shoulder, and we're going to just come across the left hip. Stick it up. Then take your hand across the left shoulder, come across the right hip, shake that off. If you have a clearing tool, you can clear the back of your body. Even a tiny feather, even something, a little bitty feather. Feathers work with the wind energy. And you can even just use just something tiny. You might go out in nature and find some objects. And if you do, they're there for you. Spirit saying, hey, here's a message. Look at this, a feather. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm so glad you're here. So I'm going to clear for you and I'm going to chant for you. So take a moment, still releasing, pulling in this energy from Mother, Father, God, from the sky, through your third eye, crown, third eye, throat, heart, and let this now flood your whole entire being and bring that purple and diamond white light just like a DNA strand is gonna come down through your solar plexus, bringing it down further into your sacral chakra and then down into your root and feel it fill your legs and your arms. Hey, Yana, oh, Yana, hey, Yana. Hey, Yana, oh, Yana, hey, Yana. Hey, Yana, oh, Yana, hey, Yana. Hey, Yana, oh, Yana, hey, Hey, Yana, ho, Yana, hey, Yana, ho. The earth is our mother. We will take care of her. The earth is our mother. We will take care of her. Hey, Yana, ho, Yana, hey, Yana, ho. Hey, Yana, ho, Yana, hey, Yana, ho. Hey, Yana, ho. of the connection to earth, sky, the trees, the ocean. Breathe in mother earth energy from your feet, pulling it up into your being to nourish you, to take care of you. And I feel this swirling from the earth swirling through your chakras all the way up to your crown. Let's take a little check. Let's clear the energy again, just balance out. Now keep one hand above your crown and then go down, come down and keep one hand down 
below your root chakra. So you're just now kind of scanning the field and just alternate. And as you get closer to your body, you're gonna feel a little prickly hair standing up. You're not touching your hair. That is the energy that you feel. So a lot of times you'll feel that. And then you can go a little further out and clear a little further out. Now, what I'd like you to do, once you feel clear, you can continue that process, that balancing process as long as you like. Go ahead and take your hands. You're gonna reach all the way down to the ground. Pick up a bubble of energy outside your feet and pull it up around you, making a bubble of protection and then clap it together at the top. And then one final swoosh and just scoop through, releasing anything negatively charged that doesn't belong in your field, that's not yours, it wasn't yours anyway, never was, no matter who tried to give it to you. And release it out and then shake that off. <sighs> shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. <sighs> Beautiful, excellent work, excellent work. So, you are complete in your healing process. This is very simple, something you can do every day. It can take just 20 seconds. You can take longer on days that you feel like you need to really pull in and recharge, but literally you cannot operate your battery at 1%, y'all. You just can't do that. It can last for so long. And it's just like one of my um, peers that worked in a company with before would do some lectures. And one of the analogies she used um, was such a great analogy. She would say your phone works at 100% capacity. Even at 1%, you're, you're, you're able to use every function, right? All of it, every bit of it. But when you get to zero or your laptop gets to zero, no warning, bam, it is out. And it's fully out, like you're down. You have a total restart, right? So remember that when you're at 1%, you might be operating at 100% capacity. But you, once you hit that, that zero point, it's a reset. And we must reset every single day. It's so important. And when we do, we have to plug in. So you plug in your phone to get that charge, right? You plug in that phone to receive that energy. We are absolutely no different than a laptop or a cell phone. We are just on an exponential being. We're an exponential being in this beautiful body that we call human and we have to plug into our source we have to plug into our source it is vital to our survival it is vital to our mental emotional health it is vital to all of that so every single day take this opportunity to reset and clear and don't wait until you're at one percent y'all don't wait until you're at one percent to recharge i know that you're like oh okay i've got some things to do I've got some things to do i'm just, i'm fading i'm fading but i'm still going i'm still going i've got all my apps in place all my apps are opening i'm, I'm and then all of a sudden things start freezing why is my phone acting weird it's spinning it's buffering it's spinning it's buffering we are no different than that and when you feel that coming on, usually you get a warning on your cell phone. You know, you set it up for 20% or whatever, or on your laptop, you set it up for 10% or whatever. You have that buffer of time. And who, who here continues to work through that period of time? Like, oh, I'm gonna plug it in in a minute, right? <laughs> I'm gonna plug it in in a minute. And then no warning, boom, you're out. You're like, oh my God, I hope I saved that, you know? And I mean, we've all been there, right? So this is no different. This is energy. It's simply energy working with energy. And we are working with divine source. Be very clear. You're working through the angelic field. You're working through the consciousness of Christ Sophia. And this is why the work is so pure. And Reiki is a pure, complete channel. And it's beautiful. And it has no attachments to any religion. It has no dog dogma attached to it. It's simply just divine energy. You can apply it toward any spiritual practice, any meditation, any type of religious practice, and it has absolutely no, no, dogma, no dogma that's uh, gonna compete with that. So I hope you enjoyed that clearing. I know that we all need it. And the full moon's tomorrow, so join me tomorrow. I hope you're free. Um, I'd like to hear from some of the ladies that are on the chat. So anybody um, want to sign up and just share a little bit about your experience with Reiki? If you've achieved some Reiki attunements and are moving through like 
really working with Reiki on a regular basis, or if it's something new and you have some questions, um, drop them in the comments. So uh, anybody wanna go ahead and jump in, Becca? Hi, everybody, good morning. Hey, Becca, let me um, spotlight you here so we can see you. I know that y'all on Instagram can't see her, but Becca's talking, she's from Iowa. Hey, Becca I'm from Iowa. Hey, Becca from Iowa. How are you guys today? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a beautiful, sunny day here, so that's wonderful. Um, I've been I've been doing a Reiki, I think, longer than I even knew what Reiki was. So I'm a stylist, and um, I, I like to call myself a luxury stylist because of the experience that I give behind the chair. And a lot of it is because I am a healer, and um, I tend to heal um through like making people feel beautiful about themselves and you know taking the worry out and sharing experiences and I'm an empath so for me um on another level of chakras is I make sure that I clear my chakras and then I protect myself so that way I'm not letting in other people's energy and they're not taking mine home with them because that was a really big problem for me um just like little things like that um learning Reiki is so exciting and fun. Um, the colors are beautiful. It, it's a life, it's a life changer for sure. Um, it but it's a fabulous lifestyle, you know, and, um, passing it on, hearing Amber talk about it with her son, um, my daughter as well, like will see me do Reiki and she'll just rubber, you know, rubber hands together and start healing. And, and she's, that's five. Five. she's five. Yeah. Dude, so natural it is so natural mm -hmm. and she'll she'll make sure she's she's like wait we have to own first mom like it's just it's special to me and it's like it's heartwarming because it's, a, it's already like in her brain you know the healing process of taking care of herself so reiki is healing other people but it's also at the same time healing ourselves from within so we can heal other people so um, I'm excited for, I love to learn and it's never ending. And I'm super excited for this next step. Yes, right. I am too. And it's so sweet. You know, when, when my littles were tiny, they would do Reiki with me. And, um, my son, he would like, mommy, do Reiki with me. And we would just do it at bedtime. And it was such an honor. Um, he's in the military. And if y'all have a moment just to pray, the, um, their whole ship is going underway because they're getting hit by a hurricane up in the Northeast. So they're actually going underway right now to escape the hurricane so their ship doesn't get damaged. And he's literally leaving port as we are having this call. Um, but he became a Reiki master um, when he came back from his boot camp. And I was holding a Reiki training in my Yoga for Love studio cabin in at our home in Ovilla at the time. And I said, Do you want to join this training? I mean, he's like, Well, I don't, I didn't read the manual or anything. I'm like, son, you've lived around this energy your whole life. It's just a formality, you know, at this point, it's just a formality for you to receive the energy or gave him a printed manual and for him to be a Reiki master is super cool. And so, and then I got to uh, tune my daughter when she was little and we had a mother daughter Reiki attunement in our old studio. And uh, a lot of mothers came and um, it was women from our goddess tribe circle and they brought their girls and the mothers had a circle and the girls had a circle. And so it's really neat. So um, kids just love it. And thank you for sharing about your daughter. When uh, Amber comes on, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing about her son's experience too. Thank you, Becca, for sharing and ministering to people through your, your chair. So Jen, are you ready? You I ready? am. Good morning. Okay. Hey, so let me get you in here. One moment. Okay, here we are. Hey. Hey, so I just wanted to say I loved how you talked about the actual kind of science behind it, because um, it's really interesting when you start thinking about atoms and electrons and, you know, you think mm -hmm. that every solid form of, you know, matter, but it's really an electron just zipping around pretending to take up space and right, right, that's all it is, it's quantum physics. It is. And when you get on that level, it's like it kind of all makes sense scientifically as well, which helps me with it. So like, yes. I think about water and, you know, if it's very slow moving and heavy, it's ice, it's solid versus when electrons start zipping around and you have good high energy, it becomes this gas and right. it's just growing like as we 
have better energy flow throughout our bodies, we have an expanded aura. So, and yeah, it's kind of that's a great way to put it. Well, that's why rocks work for me because I think about that that their energy in a way, and you're taking on the mineral energy of them. So, I loved how you brought that up. So I just wanted to say I'm on board with you. And um, can you please help with him? Um, so we use Reiki around the bed and breakfast and around our chicken coop. And we've had um, storms and branches should have fallen straight on my coop and they haven't. They, they just barely miss it and fall behind it. And yeah. every I mean, we can, we can shape shift a little bit, you know, it, it, it just takes that little eighth of a degree, you know, to make that trajectory different. And if we put our energy into it, it, it we do have influence over that. Absolutely. And Jennifer's from Utah, by the way, for those of y'all that can't see her and uh, but can only hear her. Yeah. And, um, you know, we've done the Reiki around the whole property. So like we've had people show up that we've talked to on the phone that are going to come and, you know, they've hit the bottom of our driveway after talking to us two or three times and turned around and left. And Matt's been like, should I call them back? And I'm like, no, they're not our they're kind not. of people. Yeah, Universe that's that's so true. We've had people at our Airbnb and people, we've had one person come to our retreat, step in the kitchen and say she's going to the gas station, like never came back, you know, and then there's the rest of the hundred and hundreds of people that are like, I love the energy here. It's amazing. But some people aren't ready, you know, and even if you're not necessarily doing Reiki session on somebody, your whole property is infused with this love and this light. And it is a vibration. It's a frequency. And if their energy field is not vibrating in a match to that, and they're not ready to do that work to get their vibration and their frequency in that high space, you're already in a super enchanted space in Moab anyway, because high desert is fucking magic, you know, but so, and then to add that to it, they're like, Ooh, that's too much. You know, I'm going to go back home, you know? <laughs> yep. Yeah, so um, we, we use around both the business and the, and around our chickens and, you know, it makes the eggs really good because all the chickens have had Reiki done on them. And Aww. so it's, uh, but yeah, it's just really interesting how it, it is that kind of protectiveness and the energies need to match up. And so, you know, above and beyond healing on ourselves and animals and other people, we, we definitely have it all around our property and it's amazing. That's beautiful. I love hearing that. That's so, it, that is so encouraging and it's beautiful. And like you said, you know, it is, it is a resonance and people can feel it. And all of us as, as empaths, you know, I'm speaking to y'all that are also empaths, you know, you, you can sense it when energy is good and money is energy too, you know, and this is a total sidebar, but same thing. If you're receiving what you call dirty money, like gross money, you know, from someplace where it's came from when someone's exchanged and they haven't cleared it. You're like, I don't want that money. You know, I want money that comes from a clear source because it is energy, just like food. If you're eating food that is from the earth and, you know, it's sprouted and it's grown with love and it's grown with care and it's, it's uh, you know, the prana is high, it vibrates our body at a such higher rate versus something like McDonald's, you know, where it's such a low vibration and it hasn't seen the earth or the sun like probably ever you know, made in a lab, made in a factory. And so the prana is so different. Food, money, all of it is simply energy. It's simply energy. So thank you so much, Jen, for sharing. Amber, I can't wait to hear from you about your experience. I'm going to, um, are you ready to jump on? Yes. Okay, good. Let me get you on here. So Amber is from Texas and she just recently did a yoga teaching retreat in Mexico. And so, yeah, hi. Yeah. Hey, first um, I'm going to say that clearing was much needed. I stopped, you know, I'm outside <clears throat> trying to get some outside time. So I sat on my son's swing set here and I'm going to tell you, I burst into tears as soon as we were done clearing and I like barely stopped crying. So I hope I can make it through. <laughs> Oh, thank you. They just keep coming. I, I, I can't I stop them. <laughs> it is something about this energy right now that's coming through with this full moon. I literally yeah. cried for on and off for two hours yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I don't so, know. And my dog was over here trying to comfort me, and I'm like, I'm okay. <laughs> but sometimes you just have to feel the people's favor. Yeah, it's 
it's so strong and so needed. And I forget, you know, all the time to take care of yourself and do that. And so it was much, much needed. So thank you. Um, In Mexico, of course, um, mom fell on the last day and hurt herself. And we got her back to the room and, and she was just in pain. She was crying and, you know, I went down to try and get her some pain meds and some, uh, like a brace. And then I asked my son if he would join me and just kind of send some healing energy. So um, I had everybody relax, kind of went through and did our protective bubble. And my son, I'm like, just rub your hands together with mine, you know, feel the energy. And, you know, and then we went about kind of trying to clear her leg area because we, you know, you could feel just the heat from that area. And she didn't realize what we're doing. I'm like, you just relax, completely go into it. Cause she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, just relax. <laughs> and when we were, it, when we were done, yeah, I'm like, just don't, I'm gonna take care of you, mom. So when we we're done, my son was like, he was like, I don't know. It was really hot. And I'm like, yes, that's great. You know, that's the energy you need to hone in on that. And so he didn't think anything about it. And then mom, she slept the best that night. She was like, I didn't have any pain all night. The next day she was like, oh. I still have pain. She's like, but I can stand now. She's like, I couldn't stand yesterday. So I was like, Hey, you know, that helped. And so it's kind of open. Mom's like, Ooh, can you come do that again? (laughs) Oh, yay. Of course. And you can do it through time and space. The beauty about Reiki is, I don't know how close is your mom to you. Yes. Is she close in proximity? Mom is right down the Oh, do what? Well, good. A lot of us, don't have mom that that close and my mom's crossed over so I actually work with my mom from the other side she comes in as an angel I'm not an invisible form anymore she's just pure goddess motherly maternal energy and she works through me um those of us that have moms that we want to send our energy to Reiki surpasses time and space it surpass- surpasses the veil of the world it is simply the divine connection to the divine source energy and we're simply a channel for that, y'all. It's not rocket science. It's, well, it's quantum physics science, but it's also not that complicated, you know? <laughs> it's really not. So when we start getting into our head, to overthinking, you're like, I don't understand how it works. We literally shut it off because we're here. You have to be here. If you get here, you're out of the flow. You start getting all up in your head and I don't know if that shit works. That's woo woo. You know, well, here you are. You're going to prove it because you're up here. You're going to prove it that it doesn't work. I can guarantee you that it will not work when you say it doesn't work. Well, duh. You know, that's just the law of attraction. If you're not going to accept the frequency, it's not going to find you. You have to be like a radio antenna tuning into that perfect divine love frequency. And if you need help with it, that's why you find a Reiki practitioner to help snap you back into that frequency. That's all we do. We, you're doing the work for yourself, y'all. I'm just simply holding the space. Our, our Reiki practitioners around the world are just holding the space for you. That's all. Simple, simple, easy. It's easy stuff. And it's so fun. So I would love to see y'all at our Reiki training. We have our inner goddess retreat coming up October 1st, 2nd, and 3rd in North Texas. So you can come in a day early and come to the Reiki training in person, or you can simply join us virtually and have an amazing experience. I know that um, Becca achieved her Reiki train, her Reiki level one via time and space, distance healing, and she'll be in person for her level two. So, you know, you can do the trainings, you can do healing sessions through distance healing. And there is a, it's a beautiful frequency to be in no matter where you are. So thank y'all so much for being on. And if, does anybody have any uh, questions or anything before we jump off today about Reiki or the chakras? Would you like to dive a little deeper into the chakra work maybe as we go into the fall? Any feedback? Okay. So maybe a chakra workshop or something like that. All right. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Well, thank you for joining. I'm so glad y'all are here. We're going to go ahead and sign off. So let's do an ohm together. So if y'all that are actually live on the chat can unmute and we'll do an ohm. I know there's a bit of a delay, but that's okay. Still use your voice so we can hear you. And the frequency will hit a bit of a delay, but it'll still be a beautiful ohm. So go ahead and unmute. We're going to just sign off here. And those of you that are on the live call, live chat, 
Ohm out loud is so important. There's a space right here at the top of your sternum in the, in the Adam's apple, and the, the space creates a frequency. You can even touch it with your finger at your throat chakra. And once this energy passes through, you speak things into reality. So once the energy passes through, even those, those people that are on with littles, your littles can own with us too. So you can unmute, it's okay. Littles love to participate in this. <laughs> so we're gonna just feel the own, feel it vibrating through your own voice and it manifests into this world, making your intention manifest through your voice. So just touching the throat chakra, find that little, little um, pronation on the front of your throat and just touch there. So you can really feel it. Just join me in doing that. And this is how, again, this is how we bring things in and they cut. This is the less, the less dense of manifestation is the first place where it actually drops into this world is through your throat. Then it comes in and gets a little denser through your heart, then your solar plexus, sacral chakra, root chakra, and really grounding it in. But the first place we bring in is right here. Big breath in. Uh, Bring your hands to our heart. We'll do Shanti three times. Shanti. 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 Thank y'all so much for joining me. It's such an honor to do this work with you. And I'll see you on the next call. And I'll see you on the full moon live tomorrow. Have a great weekend and uh, post in the chat and let me know how you're doing with your chakra work and your clearing. And I would love to hear from you. I love y'all so much. Thank y'all. Yeah. Bye. Hi, Amber.